What up crew? Today we're going to build the maker tree along with your help and we're only going to do it with a 3D pen. No, that's not true. But before we get into the 3D side of things, let's see how we built this whole thing to begin with. Let's check it out. So I'm starting out making the trunk of the tree out of an old 2x2. This is square and I want to be able to attach branches at more angles. So I'm cutting off the corners to make it an octagon. I don't want it to be perfect, so the fact that I'm cutting it by eye is actually a benefit. Then I'm taking my trusty jigsaw to give the top of the tree somewhat of a point. If you want to see some more jigsaw action, my last video I made an entire sign with this tool that you might want to check out. Then it was off to sanding the edges and cleaning up the corners a bit. Now I know this looks like we're going to a war with William Wallace or something, um, but trust me, stay with me, we're going to cover it all in the PLA and it's gonna look really cool. So someone was throwing an entire bed away in the dump and I found all these great pieces. So we're gonna use this to make all the limbs of the tree and the headboard for the base of the tree. Now the whole reason for this project is to let all of us makers have some sort of outlet to create a unified object. All of the ornaments that are made are being donated to the Kids Network which is a local London charity that helps troubled children build confidence and tools that they need to make a positive impact for the future. We've already got these amazing makers on board and plenty more to come. There will be more details to follow on how to get involved, but let's get back to this build. Alright, so let's see where we're at in relation to our maker tree so far. Right now we have a base on a stick, or more like a spike. Maybe elf on a spike. But no, don't get distracted. We're gonna keep on plugging along here and this is gonna turn out just the way we want it to. Okay, side project. I thought, how could we make the tree spin? And I have this old scanner that we're gonna take apart. So this garbage, this part is kind of valuable as a lazy Susan. And what we can do is hack this motor to be a little bit stronger and bigger. I don't think this is gonna cut it. And I have a stronger motor inside this 3D printed Subaru engine that I did a while ago. So we're gonna take this out and swap it in there. I'm using my 3D pen to fill in the gaps of the part where the old motor used to sit. This glorified hot glue gun is great for these kind of fixes, as well as drawing and designing fun stuff that won't be hidden. Alright, so I'm playing around with some different ideas on how to make the branches for this tree. We've got the kind of spike looking thing and that would go around like this. I don't know if I like that. So instead let's use these regular planks, cut them out of 45, drill holes in for 3D printed branches to go inside and they would attach just around here. Before we start I want to give a big shout out to Dremel for sending me this circular saw. Let's see how it does. Looks great.
Okay, now onto the 3D pen to make the base. Now, I gotta admit, in my head this seemed like a real easy and great idea. However, things don't turn out the way that you plan. All right, so the tree is making me see dizzy stuff going on. Everything's like warping and it's also taking a really long time to do this. It also doesn't look that great. So I think we'll just put on the limbs and see what it looks like from there. Yeah, I know it looks Charlie Brown-like. But with all the beautiful ornaments and plenty of love, this is going to look great. Now, let's move on to designing the 3D printed branches. I need something that is repeatable and even fractal-like, so this is what I came up with. The reason for the pieces that are sticking out are going to act as the needles, and the way to create that is by taking the height, I'm printing at 0.3 millimeters, and then doubling it so that it comes back to the branch. You don't want to print with any support, and I'm not printing with infill either, just to make these light and bendable. As you can see up close, they're just small rectangles, and as long as they don't interfere with each other, it should make a really cool effect. Let me slow this down and show you what I'm talking about. Basically, it's going to print in the air, but still extrude filament. The fan is going to blow it over to the right, but I kind of like that look. This is a great effect if you're making your prints look like they have hair or natural looking wispy like strands. The filament that I'm using is 1.75 PLA from the awesome guys at Filament PM. They have a ton of different colors and I'm using some really interesting greens for this project. If you need some high quality stuff, give them a shout and let them know that I sent you. It's kind of cool that this is a mini tree in and of itself. And since it's natural materials, possibly made from a tree. How our worlds collide. Anyway, let's get back to our spinning beauty. So now that we have our little tree limbs, I'm gonna glue them together inside the post. Again, the 3D pen comes to the rescue. All right, so this is what I've been able to get done so far. I'll put a video up next week showing all the progress that we've made and hopefully some of the ornaments that have come in. And don't worry, there's no rush, but January 6th is the deadline for when all the ornaments are going to be given to the Kids Network. And if you or any other maker friends that you know want to get involved, have them mail the ornaments to the address in the description. And also, if they make a video or have it on Instagram, let me know and I'll link them together. On that note, let's end with a quote.